it's just a place where, as many call their second home, uh, many of the kids, counselors, um, it's a place where they just, uh, they blossom and, and uh, have done wonderful things and go on to do wonderful things after, after their growth at camp. I think Sherwood gives those skills, those important life skills to kids that um, they don't get in a classroom. Um, even though we have incorporated a lot of academics at Sherwood, and sometimes it's that learning environment that kids thrive in that's different than an academic classroom. And all kids can't learn within those four walls. Sometimes they need a room that doesn't have walls, which is where Sherwood comes in. Is when I came on the board, I really didn't have a camp background. And as a kid, I didn't really attend camp. My younger brother didn't attend camp. But very quickly, I understood that this was more than a camp. I love the fact that we also have a library at the camp for kids to do the reading because some kids in a school setting may not want to read. But to take a book and sit by a tree or sit on a bench, you know, or to sit by the pool or to sit out in the field by the, by the art barn or something, I mean, that is totally different. And they will start to enjoy reading if they haven't before. People are always impressed and surprised to know about the reading program that we instituted and you sort of get that funny look like, don't you do swimming and archery? Yes, but. And the yes, but of course is the reading program and all the science programs and all of the statistics behind that and the, the, the kids that we're serving that really benefit from that summer experience when they get back to their schools in the fall. I don't know what would have happened to me or what would, where I would have been if it had not been for Sherwood. Oh, <laughs> sorry, because um, my parents were going through a divorce at the time and I started going to Sherwood and it has helped me and shaped me even to this day. And I can't imagine a better place for kids to grow up. Mary and Gary have both given their entire lives to Sherwood and they've probably impacted camp more than anybody else has. And I think they've given back what camp has given to them. It's, it's easy to say you're going to be kind or you want to be tolerant, accepting, and patient. It's easy to say after that. Man, it's a little different when you live it. And both of them live that way. I feel like I'm privileged to even be in the same circle with Mary and Gary because they're such awesome people and they think of camp and the experiences for camp for kids uh, before they think of themselves. Everybody's part of it. It's from the board to the staff to the campers to the counselors to the campers, but Mary is the, uh, is the driving force that has just really taken this camp to a new level. Gary is somebody behind the scenes that Whenever anything happened at camp uh, on the grounds, Gary was there to fix it. Whenever anything happens at camp, you know Gary's gonna be there to fix it. And he's just incredible at what he does. Gary demonstrated a, a soft spokenness at camp. And I think kids learn from him by just uh, modeling his behavior and learning his uh, style of, of interacting with people. You don't have to be loud and boisterous to have a, a impact upon other people. They mean a lot to me. They mean a lot to my kids, my family. Um, I want to say thank you for giving your life to camp because I cannot imagine camp being camp without Mary and Gary at camp. To Mary and Gary both, I want to say congratulations on this great achievement and accomplishment. Uh, and I want to thank you as well because you've both been such a great part of of my life since I was 12 years old up until now. One of the words that I learned is the word resilient. And I'm not sure if I really defined that word prior to becoming involved with Sherwood Forest. And the resilience of our kids coming from some of the backgrounds that they do and to rise to the levels that they've risen to and to see some of the kids that we've seen over the years and just the word resilient comes to mind and it's one of my favorite words. The backgrounds that they came from, which could be pretty different from the way I grew up, 
and to find out what their hopes and dreams are and especially when you start getting in with the older kids you know do you plan to do some type of post-secondary education most just like oh absolutely and then to hear about some of the, the trips that the kids take around the country the colleges that they're visiting the community service work that they're doing at Sherwood Forest we do such wonderful things for kids uh, which grow up to becoming just wonderful adults and so by the more the more you can help the better off we will be, the better off St. Louis is going to be, and the better off society is going to be.